when Courage Center looked at opening a facility in the Stillwater area, in the East Metro area, we really looked at what are the needs within that community. Not just what do we provide and what historically have we done, but what are the needs within this community and how as an agency can we address those needs. Since 1988, our focus of serving people with physical disabilities in a holistic way, looking at not only therapy services, but giving the people the tools that they need to manage their life has not changed. The growth in services at this facility has increased tremendously. Every day at Courage Kenny, persons of all ages are striving to live their lives as fully as possible. There are people like Mabel, who's two years old, who receive services at Courage Kenny Kids at the Early Child and Family Center, and adults like Evan, who through his therapy has learned to walk again. Two years ago, I was a construction carpenter and I was building a house. We were standing up a wall and uh, the wall collapsed on me, shattered my T12 vertebrae, severely damaged my spinal cord and paralyzed me from the rib cage down. The original prognosis was that I would likely never have movement or feeling below my waist again, and I would remain in a wheelchair the rest of my life. As soon as the doctor gave me the prognosis of never moving or feeling again, I, I didn't like that answer, so I simply didn't believe it and just kept working and moving as much as I could. I came to Courage Kenny, St. Croix, a week after being released from the hospital and began the long journey to recovery. Me and the staff at Courage Kenny, each physical therapist and mentor that has worked with me, we formed a partnership, really. What wasn't supposed to happen, how I was supposed to remain in a wheelchair, that was the original thing. And then I started overcoming that and that encouraged them and they started throwing new exercises and such at me, which encouraged me. And just sort of a back and forth snowball thing of how far can we take this? Where can I go again? Okay. Up we go. Currently, I have the walking thing down, which just really fine points things with balance and sort of the little muscles. Like I have quads, hamstrings down pretty well for the major muscle groups, but just sort of the smaller muscle groups and just kind of fine tweaking. Perfect, all right. The staff here at Courage Kenny are just 100% filled with drive, compassion, and courage in themselves, really. Just be able to take themselves and literally help someone out of a wheelchair and walk again. That's fly. I get people that come up to me all the time while I'm here at Courage Kenny, just telling me how I motivate them and how I inspire them and all that, and frankly, they inspire me. For the future, I just try and gain back as much as I can, get my life back, you know, go back to school, get a job again, start pursuing music again, performing live, writing again, um, and just progressing from a walker to forearm crutches to a cane. and hopefully one day without anything. You know, Mabel has a pretty big team of people that help her, <laughs> not only her medical care providers, as well as her nannies who come into our home and care for her, her nurses who come into the home and care for her at night. And Courage really is just part of that team for her. We certainly could not do <laughs> what they have been able to do on our own. You know, just watching them, her therapists interact with her, gives us so many more ideas of how to help her at home. The OT and the PT that we've done here has really made a big difference in the way that she interacts with her world. Now she's able to you know, smile, she's able to like grab for things and play with things. It's clear that she's interacting with her environment. I mean, she's able to do things she wasn't able to do before. We appreciate that they're able and willing to let us come into her session so that we can physically see what they're doing and know sort of how they're positioning her because a lot of it has to do with using your hands to help hold her and if you don't actually have to practice it yourself while they're helping you, it can be really hard to know how to do it at home. So they're super receptive to letting us be you know, very intimately involved in those sessions. She has made pretty significant progress. And now at home with some of that activity, we're able to, to even encourage her to be able to do it without the bungee. So, I mean, six, eight months ago, there's no way she could, she would have stood and bared weight on her legs. And now, if you encourage her a little bit, <laughs> at least she will, which is pretty cool to see. We still don't really know what her path uh, looks like moving forward, but um, 
that's why we continue to keep working with her. And she's fought hard through a lot. <laughs> so we just keep on working. She's shown us a lot. Courage County St. Croix has always been about partnerships. The work that we do is too big and too complicated for any one individual or agency to do it by themselves. But our programs would not exist without the unique relationship that we have to our donors in this community. It's because of those donors that these services exist. We are extremely grateful for the tremendous support we have received from this community. Through that support, we've been able to change the lives of thousands of people. With continued support, we'll be able to change the lives of thousands more.